the Thrunas YouTube channel where you can see the world through Nas eyes. I'm your host Jana and today we will be talking about Tubstat or TUP Scholastic and Technical Aptitude Dust. Thank you Danica Albao for requesting this video and thank you guys our live audience for continuing to watch our show. Now let's get into it. Nandiyan na pala kayo? <laughs> Hello! Hi! Very casual lang yung chat natin ngayon since wala lang. Isipin nyo lang na ate ako na nag a sa inyo. Disclaimer lang guys, um, 2019 pa ako nag-take ng Tubstat and iba pa yung panahon nun, and normal pa ang lahat. And I just want to tell you guys na do your own research kasi hindi ko alam, hindi ako updated sa mga bagay na nabago na. Wow! <laughs> sa mga bagay na Alam mo yun, yung Tubstat, etc, etc. Kasi may mga nagsasabi sa akin na based on grades na daw kumukuha talaga yung TUP ng students. And I don't know if they still need to take Tubstat. But I just want to offer this video because maybe, maybe, just maybe, you still need it. So, here it is. Tip number one, be an early bird or be updated. Sa case ko, um, February 2019 pa yung first batch ng Tubstat Takers. And yeah, November pa lang, nagpa-consult na ako. Pas na agad ako ng mga requirements and all. And if I'm not mistaken, mga five or six lang kami na nakapila sa admission. And mas na-accommodate kami. Mas na-explain sa amin ng maayos yung mga course na meron sila. Yung mga sa tingin nila, magandang kuhanin namin since kuwari, mahilig kami sa ganito or ganyan or yung first choice namin, ganito. You know what I mean. Ang sarap lang sa feeling na mas maayos na nila na-explain yung mga course na pwede namin kuhanin since, yeah, hindi na kami magugulat kung makapasaman kami sa course na yun and pwede namin kuhanin yung course na yun sa TUP and we already know kung ano yung pinasok namin. Being an early bird, um, it's an advantage kasi syempre, um, kapag updated ka and all, malalaman mo kagad yung date ng test nyo, mas makakapag-prepare ka, mas maayos mong makokondisyon yung sarili mo before taking a test. Tip number two, practice or study before the exam. Kasi alam naman natin na marami talaga ang questionnaires ang sets. And ayaw mo na ma-overwhelm ka sa mga yun. And maraming MAC tests sa internet. Sa internet lang din ako naghanap. Marami talagang resources sa internet na pwedeng, pwedeng, pwedeng mong i-utilize. And Tubstat, um, more on logical thinking siya. Maraming videos sa YouTube na mas matetest yung logical thinking mo. And yeah, search ka lang din sa internet ng mas ng kung paano mas ma-improve yung logical thinking mo. It's very helpful na mag-practice ka and mag-study before the exam. Lalo na kawari sa vocabularies, makaka-help talaga yon sa reading comprehension mo. Kunwari, magbasa ka ng 10 words a day, tapos um, yeah, search mo yung meaning and all, tapos sit in a sentence, ganun. But, 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 the real deal here is not your score sa Tupstat. Kasi kahit ma-reach mo yung pinakamataas na score score sa Tubstat, pero hindi nila nagustuhan or hindi nagustuhan ng university yung grades mo nung senior high ka, eh kiss ka pa din. Kasi, yeah, it really matters sa TUP and maybe sa iba rin universities. Gusto kasi talaga nila makabingwit ng mga smart kids. So, yeah, it really matters kasi nagmamatter talaga sa kanila yung quality education and gusto nila makabingwit ng mga smart kids na makakapag-comply sa quality education na value nila. And I just want to quickly share again na meron akong teacher na sobrang sobrang, alam mo yun, na-appreciate ko talaga siya kasi never niya pinanamdam na bobo kami kasi technology student kasi ako and usually, usually or minsan, may mga teachers na ayaw magturo sa amin kasi, alam mo yun, basta pumipili sila. Kasi syempre, pag College of Engineering, for sure, matalino talaga sila. But, 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 marami din akong kilala sa department ko na matalino talaga. Or smart talaga sila in madiskarte. Pero dahil nga sa history nila na grades ng senior high, hindi sila nakapunta sa College of Engineering. And for sure, kagaya ko, isa rin sa regret nila yun. Na sayang eh, sayang eh. Pangarap mo na yun, College of Engineering. But, I can say na, yung technology students, civil engineering technology na course, 
is not bad at all because we are more focused on hands-on so practical etc etc yeah i just want to share that na yung teacher ko na yun <laughs> oh my god sobrang walang direction ng kwento ko pero yun yung teacher ko na yun lagi niya sinasabi sa amin na hindi kayo makakapasok sa state yun kung hindi kayo smart or kung hindi kayo matalino i mean it's a good motivation diba alam mo yun kasi ako medyo mababa talaga sa team ko dati and it's a really good motivation na, okay, nasa state yung ako, scholar ako ng bayan. And, yeah, I need to study hard kasi sayang yung pera ng bayan at all. And, yeah, mag-aral tayo mabuti kasi it really matters and grades really matters sa TUP and maybe sa other universities din. And it will lead to my third tip, which is mag-aral ka na mabuti ng high school. Senior junior high school man yan, or senior high school, it really matters. Oh my God, I just want to preach it to you guys. It really matters. Kasi yung junior high school ako, marami akong kaklase na naririnig sa kanila na, na parati sila nagreklamo, kailangan mo ba to? Kailangan mo ba yan? Bakit ba tinuturo yan sa school? But if you think about it, but if you come to think of it, Maraming benefits eh. Sobrang daming benefits. As in, as in kung maisip mo, kung magdidig deep ka pa, it's okay. It's okay to work hard sa mga bagay na feeling mo walang pakinabang. Kasi okay din talaga na magdig, na magdelve or ano bang tawag dito, mag-study sa mga bagay na feeling mo walang pakinabang in the future. Kasi alam mo it will really teach you other things, other skills, other, alam mo yun, mga bagay na mas magagamit mo in the future, mas magagamit mo in life. So, for example, you are so keen on studying, mas maraming bagay na mas matutunan mo, like self-discipline, um, patience, and other things na, for me, magagamit mo ng sobra sa college. As in, ako, sobrang ina-envy ko yung mga taong mahilig talaga mag-aral since then. Kasi, alam mo yun, mahirap talaga yung college, pero onting jump na lang para sa kanila unlike me na hindi ako ganun kahilig mag-aral dati. Alam nyo ba guys, ang inaaral ko lang ng junior high school at saka senior high school na subjects is yung mga subjects na gusto ko. Alam mo yun, sobrang hindi role model. Pero I just want to tell you guys, I just want to be honest with you guys kasi ito yung mga bagay na naging mistakes ko and I don't want na mangyari to sa inyo and I don't want na ma-repeat yung mga mistakes na nagawa ko. Alam mo yun? Yeah. I just want to share my knowledge with you guys. I just want to share my regrets. I just want to share everything that I learned. Walang bagay guys na walang pakinabang. Alam mo yun? Pag nag-aral ka ng math, pag nag-aral ka ng, alam mo yun, science or disaster and ready, etc. Et things that you thought you don't need in life. Yung mga skills talaga, guys. Yung mga skills talaga yung kakailanganin mo, lalong lalo na sa college. So, I suggest, guys, and I encourage you, I preach everything in education. Guys, please study. Please study, especially on junior high school and senior high school kasi you really need it. Lalo na sa college kasi may mga universities na nagbabasa sila sa grades and kapag mababa yung grades mo, pag hindi nila nagustuhan yung grades mo, hindi ka nila tatanggapin. And... Yeah, TUP is a good school and I just want guys na malaman na if you really want to mapunta sa dream school mo, kailangan mo talagang mag, ano eh, mag, ano ba tawag dito, mag work hard, ganun. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na hindi ka mapunta sa dream school mo, it's end of the world na, ano ba yan, wala na akong, wala na akong direction sa buhay, no, but alam mo yun. Habang maaga pa, if you are a junior high school student and you are listening to me, oh my god, I'm just preaching to you guys what you need in life, you know that. Um, yeah, sobrang overwhelmed ko and I don't know if I have a reaction in this chika chika. But yeah, please study um, junior high school and senior high school, um, ace the exams and yeah, get a good grade para makuha ka. Para makuha mo yung gusto mong course sa college at matanggap ka ng gusto mong school at college. Sorry for bubbling guys, but yeah, tip number four. I mean, tip number four, um, time management. 
yeah, nabanggit ko na talaga kanina na maraming questionnaire sa sets and ma-overwhelm ka pag hindi mo na-manage ng time mo yung ayos. And yeah, map test, makakatulong yan sa'yo para malaman mo yung capacity mo, um, kung saan ka mas naglalak, kung saan mas yung strength mo. Siyempre, kahit na uh, inaalam natin yung mga weaknesses natin, dapat alam din natin yung mga strengths natin. And test, map test will really help you on that. And time management, I just want to share this tip of mine na ginamit ko buong set season. And it really helped me on time management. So, yeah. I will read the questionnaires. And then, kapag nasa, alam mo yun, yung bilog-bilog na sinushaydan, pag nandun ako, ang gagawin ko na lang is susulatan ko lang siya. I mean, or tuldok. Basta very light lang. Very light lang para madandaan mo yung sagot sa certain question na yan, or certain number na yan. And then, I will finish the questionnaires and all. And, yeah. Kapag tapos ko nasagutan, saka ako siya siya shaded. And, yeah, naranasan ko nga na nag-shade ako. Ipinapasok ko na yung questionnaire. So, it's okay. It's really okay. Kasi walang pandadae doon and all. Nag-shade lang ako kapag ipapasok ko na yung questionnaires. And, nakapagsagot ako ng hindi ko win a wild guess yung mga hindi ko nasagutan. So, natapos ko yung mga sections sa sets. And, minsan hindi ko natatapos pero konti na lang yung hindi ko natatapos. That tip really helped me. Tip number five, relax. Girl, relax. Um, tips that, iba siya sa mga sets na nakuha ko or sets na natake ko. Iba talaga siya, unique siya. And, You don't really need to review ng sobra-sobra. Pero, 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 hindi yun excuse para hindi ka mag-review. Kasi, alam mo yun, kahit nakaka-enjoy yung tubes that, madugo talaga siya. But, yeah, you just have to relax. Relax ka lang, girl, and enjoy mo lang yung pagsasagot ng tubes that. Kasi nakaka-enjoy siya, kapag i-enjoy mo siya, and, yeah, I just want you to relax. <laughs> Sobrang palit-ulit ako, pero gusto ko lang na mag-relax ka habang nagsasagot. And huwag mong i-pressure yung sarili mo. Enjoy mo lang and i-claim mo sa sarili mo, I will pass this test. Okay? I will pass this test and this school will admit me. And I will have a school and I will have a university on college. Yes, girl. Scholar ka na. <laughs> Lastly, or last but not the least, is reward yourself after taking a test or after having an achievement. Nasabi ko na to sa last vlog ko or sa sets vlog ko na i-reward mo yung sarili mo after having an achievement. Kasi it will really help you. It will motivate you more sa mga bagay na kinukuha mo or sa mga bagay na chinichase mo and all. Kasi madugo talaga yung test, guys. Admit it. Madugo talaga siya. Masama siya sa lasa or masama siya sa pakiramdam. Lasa isa batang Kenya word, by the way. But, yeah, reward yourself and just tell it to yourself na, wow, you got it, girl. Nakaya mo. And kahit makabagbag hininga yung test, na-achieve mo, natapos mo. And I am so proud of you. And, yeah. Doon na nagtatapos ang mga tips na mga na-learn ko sa Tupstat season ko. And, yeah, gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, um, hindi ko na alam ang patakanan ngayon sa TUP, kung paano sila kumukuha ng estudyante, and all, do your own research then. Like their page, visit their website, and, yeah, maybe I will link some links on the description box to help you, but, yeah, you have to do your own research and help yourself para magkaroon ka ng university ngayon college or ngayong season. And, yeah. Pray and pray and pray and pray and pray na maging okay din ng lahat. And syempre, sa video na to, ang team ng video na to, maging okay din ng lahat and mapupunta ka rin sa school na gusto mo or mapupunta ka rin sa school kung saan yun ang plano ni God. And, ayoko pa magpaalam kasi gusto ko pa magchika sa inyo. Sobrang daming, alam mo yun, sobrang magchika talaga ako na tao. <sighs> But yeah, Bye. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to share some of your concerns and salo bean down in the comments below. And as always, I'm your host Janelle saying, share this video to someone if you think I help you or I made you smile. Do it. Always remember, be a reason to someone smile. See you next time. Bye.